Well, another absolutely massive shout out to Atlas VPN for sponsoring today's video. Do check out their latest deal at £1.46 per month. It works out as 82% off. Of course, Atlas VPN stops ads and malware. It blocks malicious links, ads and trackers, notifies you when someone's trying to steal your data. More than 6 million users worldwide. Developed by top cybersecurity specialists and IT engineers. A 30-day money-back guarantee. Protect unlimited devices as well with a single subscription. Do check out the latest Atlas VPN deal. Click the link down below. Well, of course, Brexiteers alarmed, and I think uh, people have got every right to be about this secret Labour Conservative uh, Brexit meeting involving the likes of Lord Mandelson and Michael Gove, according to that Observer report from the weekend. Frankly, the whole thing stinks, and you've seen the Brexiteer backlash about this. Now, someone who I think has been pretty on the ball all the way through is Lord Frost, and he has reacted to this meeting. And I just think it's worth remembering, when we look at the sort of lack of unilateral action from the government, that Frost, back in 2021, of course, was then the Brexit minister. And this is what he was saying about the protocol in Article 16 back then. The Northern Ireland protocol is not working and needs to change. Yes, we agreed the protocol in that difficult autumn two years ago. We knew we were taking a risk, but a worthy one, in the cause of peace, in the cause of protecting the Belfast Good Friday Agreement. It was the right thing to do. It ended our constitutional crisis. It meant our country could leave the EU whole, free, and with real choices about the future. Of course, we wanted to negotiate something better. If it had not been for the madness of the Surrender Act, we could have done so. So we worried right from the start that the protocol would not take the strain if not handled sensitively. As it has turned out, we were right. The arrangements have, become, have begun to come apart even more quickly than we feared. Thanks to the EU's heavy-handed actions, cross-community political support for the protocol has collapsed. The protocol itself is now undermining the Belfast Good Friday Agreement. Businesses, political parties, the institutions, and indeed all in Northern Ireland now face instability and disruption. We can still solve these problems. I set out in July a set of proposals that would establish a new balance for a lasting future for Northern Ireland. And I'll soon be sending a new set of legal texts to the EU to support them. We still await a formal response from the EU to our proposals. But from what I hear, I worry that we will not get a response which enables the significant change we need. So I urge the EU to be ambitious. It's no use tinkering around the edges. We need significant change. If we can agree something better, as I would like us to do, we can get back to where we want it to be. An independent Britain with friendly relations with the EU based on free trade. But we cannot wait forever. Without an agreed solution soon, we will need to act using the Article 16 safeguard mechanism to address the impact the protocol is having in Northern Ireland. Of course, that was followed up with years more of negotiations without any unilateral action really being taken. We know the protocol bill to make unilateral sensible changes are put on the back burner by the government. But Frost reacting, given his view, on this secret Brexit summit. And you see their front page of the mail, a warning of a secret plot to unravel Brexit, the mail there. Frost saying this secret conference is a further piece of evidence that many in our political and business establishment want to unravel the deals we did to exit the EU in 2020 and to stay shadowing the EU instead. Saying that's why so many of those responsible for Theresa May's failed backstop deal were there, while I and those who actually delivered the Brexit agreements were not. He says Brexit doesn't need fixing. It needs this Conservative government elected with a huge mandate on a Brexit programme to fully and enthusiastically embrace its advantages instead of leaving the field to those who never wanted it in the first place. He says, I and millions of others want the government to get on with that instead of raising taxes, deterring investment, pushing public spending to its highest level for 70 years. 
Also reaction from the Conservative MP Brexiteer David Jones there, Deputy Chairman of the ERG, saying that the fact that such a meeting was held in conditions of such secrecy must give rise to suspicions as to its purpose and that it's hard to believe that closer constitutional links were not on the agenda. And you've seen a whole range of reaction from this, including from the likes of Nigel Farage and also David Campbell Bannerman there, saying Lord Frost is bang on all this fixing is just duplicitous or well in doublespeak aimed at taking us back into the EU's orbit with the ultimate aim of rejoining this is Labour policy no Tories should be involved so I certainly think uh, Lord Frost and others now on the Conservative side sounding the alarm about what is going on here and as much as I'm trying to deny it uh, some in the establishment now already pushing to rejoin the EU let me know what you make of all of that in the comments below guys do you agree with what Frost had to say there. I will keep bringing you all the Ray latest, so please do write this video a quick thumbs up. And of course, as ever, cheers for watching.